In 2012, Paul Dinkins and I were equally frustrated with the lack of visibility and transparency to vendor trade funding across the retail industry. It's a process that requires sophisticated systems to aggregate information in a manner that's truly actionable for operators. It was through that discussion that the concept of TradeView Analytics was born. TradeView Analytics right now provides uh, a high-level view of supplier performance. It includes all the key metrics uh, that a business needs to look at in terms of analyzing vendor performance for a business in a scorecard format. One of the most exciting benefits of TradeView Analytics is actually just having a standardized data model. We can present this information for our company and, and look at our results and, and improve our performance. I think it will help companies be better performers, but it will also help the retailers hold suppliers more accountable. The beauty of TradeView Analytics right now is that it, it presents the key decision-making points in a very summarized format for merchants to make decisions. Quickly, we can see if a vendor is actually supporting our business growth or not. We can see if we're growing volume in certain categories, certain subcategories, and if the funding doesn't support that, then, then we're eating the gross. And so it allows us not only to look at that particular supplier's performance, but we can look at other suppliers that compete in the category and uh, just determine who's, who's supporting our business growth and who's not.